time. Uh, I, uh, I am hopeful that I'm going to be able to get cooperation from my Republican colleagues in the Senate and the House, as well as on the governors, to build a consensus as to how we proceed when we do. But why not use every tool in your toolbox to get the information that you say you need to do your job and to do it effectively on day one? I'm making a judgment based on many years of experience and how to get things done with the opposition. Do you and think my you would judgment win? Is, my judgment is that uh, it is we'll get further along by actually working with our Republican colleagues now, and uh, because the time in which we would win would not materially change necessarily. But it's still an open question. It's an open question that could change. So you haven't ruled it out? You haven't ruled out legal action against the Trump administration, against the GSA? We haven't ruled it out. Okay. And given the death toll now, more than 250,000 Americans who have now lost their lives, you have said that you would support a nationwide shutdown if scientists recommended no, 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 it. No, no. You've uh, spoken I, to I scientists know. now. You keep, everybody asks that question every single time I stand here. It was a hypothetical question. The answer was I would follow the science. I am not going to shut down the economy, period. I'm going to shut down the virus. That's what I'm going to shut down. So that's I'll ruled say out. again, no national shutdown. No national shutdown. Because every region, every area, every community is can be different. And so there's no circumstance which I can see would require a total national shutdown. I think that would be counterproductive. But there are constraints in which the degree to which businesses can be open. For example, it's one thing to say that you can have uh, in, in a state that is there, where their infection rate is not as high, you can have a, a gymnasium open. It's another thing to say it can only be open four hours a day with X number of people. The church I go to, my Catholic church, they don't allow more than 40 percent of the people are, are to come into the church. Those are rational decisions. It's not shutting down everything. It's calibrating based on what the what the threat is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vice President Elect and um, Vice. Thank you, Mr. President Elect and Vice President Elect Harris. Um, a question for you first, which is. What do you make of the fact that the president is having these calls with Michigan County officials? Um,